the day and we met a gondola. <laughs> Ciao, Henry. How are you today, Gondola? I feel benissimo. Very good, Henry. Every day I get to cruise around these emerald green waters, soaking in the sights and sounds of one of the most romantic cities in the world, Venice. Hello, Henry. Ciao, everyone. Mm, I don't see many roads around here. How do people get about? Venice is built upon lots of small islands connected by lagoons and canals. So most people get from place to place using vaporetti or water taxis like this. Hello, Henry. Hello, water taxi. And what are those boats doing, Gondola? That's the Regatta Storic. The historical regatta, Henry. It's a yearly boat race around Venice. That looks very exciting, Gondola. It sure is, Henry. But if you're after something a little more relaxing, you can take a trip on a gondola like myself and enjoy a private tour of the city. That sounds lovely, gondola. Do you have any tours booked in for today? I sure have, Henry. I have to pick up two passengers and take them on an extra special romantic tour around the famous sites of Venice. Gondola, gondola, I have some terrible news. Our gondolier has fallen in the canal, gotten his clothes wet, and they won't be washed and dried until tomorrow. What are we going to do? I can't go on an extra special romantic tour without a gondolier to help me navigate. If only there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, Gondola. I could become a gondolier and we could pick up your passengers and take them on an extra special romantic tour together. Fantastico! That's a great idea, Henry. It's a tradition for the gondolier to stand astern. That means at the rear of the boat. Hop aboard. Will do, Gondola. Will do. A gondolier uses me, Henry, an oar to propel the gondola forward. Thanks, oar. Now we better get going, Henry. We don't want to keep our passengers waiting. Sure thing, gondola. Let's go! Look, Henry, here's our happy couple now. Two Italian gelato ice creams. Ciao, ice creams. Are you ready for your extra special romantic tour of Venice? We, we sure, sure are, Henry. <laughs> then hop aboard. First stop, the Grand Canal. Hello, Rialto Bridge. Hello, Henry. Hello, Doge's Palace. Hello, Henry. Hello, St. Mark's Basilica. Hello, Henry. There's just a one last stop to make. It's tradition for the happy couple to share a kiss under the Bridge of Sighs. For good luck. OK, Gondola. I guess it's up to us to set the mood. Se bellissimo. You look beautiful, my darling. Your eyes look like Da Vinci painted them himself. My darling, why are you crying? I'm not crying. Why are you crying? Oh, my, my goodness, I'm not crying. I'm, I'm melting. Oh, no, Henry. The gelatos are melting in the sun. We need to get them back to the gelato stall quick. Leave it to me, Gondola. Oh, dear. Look at that traffic. We'll just have to go this way, Gondola. We can't go that way because that leads straight into the historical regatta race. What are we going to do? Look at all these boats. We'll never make it back in time. We can't let the gelatos melt on their first date. Don't worry, Gondola. I'll just have to use my super-duper gondolier skills. Let's go! <laughs> romantic tour and you even helped the gelatos get back to the freezer just in time. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Gondolier. The day Henry met a gondola he laughed alone with everyone The day Henry met a gondola he met lots of friends and had so much fun Henry! That's my mum calling me Gondola, I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me conduct the most extra special romantic tour ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a rainbow. <laughs> Oh, hello, Henry, dear. How are you today?
today, Rainbow. I feel wonderful, Henry. I just love brightening up the sky and adding a splash of colour to everyone's day. Rainbow, where did you come from? You weren't here a moment ago. Are you magic? Oh, oh, no, I'm not magic, Henry. Sometimes when it rains and the sun shines through the raindrops at just the right time, a rainbow like me appears. Wow, that's amazing, Rainbow. And you're so colourful. My favourite colour is orange. Oh, orange. I love orange. Such a lovely warm colour. Oh, but I must admit, I am partial to a bit of green. Oh, and I quite like red as well. And yellow. And violet. And blue. Oh, and don't forget indigo, of course. In fact, you could say I love all the colours of the rainbow. Me too, Rainbow. But if you're not magic, does that mean there isn't a pot of gold at the end of your rainbow? Oh, I don't know, Henry. I'd love to find out, but only a leprechaun would know how to find a pot of gold. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea. I could become a leprechaun. And I can find the pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. OK, Rainbow, it looks like the pot of gold could be over there. Well spotted, Henry, dear. Oh, but it looks so far. Maybe I could ask that unicorn for help. Oh, good thinking, Henry. Hello, unicorn. How you doing, Henry? I'm doing great, thanks, unicorn. I was just wondering if you could give me a lift through the forest to the end of the rainbow. Through the magical fairy tale forest? It would be my pleasure. Hop on, kid. Oh, good luck, Henry. And remember, safety first. Don't worry, Rainbow. I have my helmet right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, the end of the rainbow. Hello, troll. Hello, Henry. Hello, gingerbread man. Hello, Henry. Hello, three little piggies. Hello, Henry. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Oh, don't give up, Henry, my dear. You've come so far. Maybe I can help. Oh, hello, little bean. You see, I'm a special type of bean, Henry. Are you a baked bean? Are you a runner bean? Are you a marvellous Mexican jumping bean? Even better than all those, Henry. <laughs> I'm a magic bean. And if you plant me in the ground, you'll get to see what makes me so magical! Whoa! Up, up and away! Whoa, that is one tall beanstalk, Henry. If I climb to the top, I think I'll be able to see the end of the rainbow. And maybe even the pot of gold. Oh, be extra careful while you're climbing, Henry. Will do, Rainbow. Will do. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Unicorn. Top of the beanstalk, here I come. Here I am, Rainbow, at the top of the beanstalk. Oh, and look, I can see the pot of gold. Hi, Henry. Hello, pot of gold. Oh, well done, Henry. Oh, but how are you ever going to get all the way down there? That's where you come in, Rainbow. Ready or not? Here I come! Whee! Well done, Henry! You did it! Oh, you found a pot of gold! Thanks, Rainbow! Now who wants some chocolate coins? Yay! The day we met a rainbow, we laughed along with everyone. The day It's my mum calling me, Rainbow. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry, dear. And thanks for sharing your chocolate coins with everyone. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Oh, bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush. Hello, Henry. How are you tonight, Toothbrush? 
I'm great, thanks, Henry. It's almost the end of another gloriously squeaky clean day in the bathroom. Are you here to brush your teeth before bed? I am, Toothbrush. I've eaten all my dinner, tidied my room, put on my pyjamas, and now it's time to clean my teeth. Well, we'd better get started then. Toothpaste, if you would be so kind. There you go, Henry. Thanks, Toothpaste. Whenever we eat or drink, teeny tiny bits get stuck between our teeth, so we have to remember to give them a jolly good scrub. Top and bottom, otherwise you might get a toothache. Will do, Toothbrush. Will do. How's that, Toothbrush? <gasps> oh, looks like one of your baby teeth has fallen out. Is that because I didn't brush them enough? Oh, no, Henry. As you get older, your baby teeth fall out to make room for your adult teeth. So pop me under your pillow, Henry. And if you've been extra good at cleaning your teeth, the tooth fairy will come and leave your shiny coin. Baby Tooth, have you not heard? The Tooth Fairy has eaten too many sweets and has a toothache and won't be collecting any teeth until tomorrow night. Oh, if only there was another Tooth Fairy around. That gives me a great idea, Toothbrush. I could become a Tooth Fairy and we can take my baby tooth and swap it for a lovely shiny coin. That's a great idea, Henry. Wow, Toothbrush, you're so big. It's not me who's big, Henry. It's you that's really, really small. This is so cool. Now, we have to take your baby tooth to the Tooth Kingdom and present it to the Tooth King. If he thinks I'm sparkly and clean enough, he'll reward you with a shiny coin. OK, everyone, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh, ahem, <laughs> Henry... Baby Tooth and I can't fly. Oh, of course. Sorry, Toothbrush. There you go. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Good luck, everyone. Here we are, Henry. The Tooth Kingdom. Wow, this place is huge. Excuse me, signpost. Do you know the way to the Tooth King? I most certainly do, Henry. It's that way. Thanks, signpost. Okay, you two. Let's go. Hello, sweet tooth. Hello, Henry. Hello, gold tooth. Hello, Henry. Hello, wisdom tooth. Oh, hello, Henry. Here we are, Henry, the Tooth Castle. Wow, it's amazing, Toothbrush. Let's head inside and meet the Tooth King. Hello, Tooth King. Ah, oh, hello, Henry, my dear boy. Welcome to my humble abode. I trust you had a pleasant trip through my Tooth Kingdom. We did, Tooth King. I never knew there were so many different teeth. Oh, that reminds me. We've brought you a present. A tooth? Oh, how splendid! Let's pop it on the clinometer and see how it measures up. Well, tickle my molars, Henry. That's the cleanest, whitest, sparkliest baby tooth I've ever seen. You deserve an extra special shiny coin for all your excellent brushing. Thanks, Tooth King. Now run along, baby tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, Henry. Well done. Thanks, Toothbrush. And thank you for helping me keep my teeth nice and clean every single day. The day Henry met a toothbrush, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a toothbrush, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me toothbrush. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for the adventure. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... ...an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Apple. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Apple? 
I'm a little bit nervous, Henry, but I'm really excited at the same time. It's my first day as a teacher's assistant, and I want to look my best. Would you mind giving me a quick polish, please? Of course not, Apple. <laughs> there you go. Lovely and shiny. Ah, much better. Thanks, Henry. Are you all set for your first day of school? I think so, Apple. Let me see. I have my pencil case, my reading book, and my packed lunch. Hello, Apple! Hello, everyone. Looks like you have everything you need, Henry. Now, all we need to do is wait for the teacher to arrive. OK, everyone, quiet down, please. It's time to start the lesson. Mm, Apple, if the lesson is about to start, shouldn't the teacher be here by now? You're right, Henry. I wonder where they are. Ding, ding, ding. Apple, Apple, I have some terrible news. The teacher isn't feeling well and won't be coming into school today. Oh, no, Henry. That's terrible news. The whole class is here, but there's no one to teach them. Oh, if only there is another teacher around to help. That gives me a great idea, Apple. I could become a teacher and we could teach the class together. That's a great idea, Mr. Henry. Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Henry and I will be your teacher for today. Good morning, Mr. Henry. We all know the importance of a good education. So I'm sure I can count on your full attention and for you to be on your best behaviour. You're it. <laughs> Quiet, please. Oh, put that down. Don't do that. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Henry. Can I go to the toilet, please? Oh, yes. Of course you can, little desk. Phew. Teaching a full class is a lot harder than I thought. Keep at it, Mr. Henry. You can do it. You just have to think of something that'll hold their attention. Good thinking, school bell. Woo-hoo! Quiet now, everyone. Settle down, please. It's time to start the first lesson of the day. You've got their attention now, Mr. Henry. So start teaching. Will do, Apple. Will do. So if I have three oranges and I eat one orange, how many oranges do I have left? Two oranges? Correct. And that's how a tadpole grows legs and turns into a frog. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Yay! Look, Henry, it's almost home time and we still have one subject to teach. And we have to tidy up. Don't worry, Apple. I think I have an idea. OK, class. Time for your PE lesson. The object of the game is to tidy up the classroom as quickly and safely as possible. Three, two, one, go! Well done, Desk. Thanks, Board Rubber. Good teamwork, everyone. Just one last thing. There. Thanks, Apple. Well done, everyone. You were the best class ever. And you were the best teacher ever, Mr. Henry. Oh, thanks, little desk. OK, everyone, it's home time. my mum calling me, Apple. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping to teach the class today. You're welcome, Apple. Have a nice afternoon. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Apple. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a cauldron. Hello, 
Henry. How are you today, Cauldron? I feel spooktacular, Henry, because today is my favorite day of the year. It's Halloween! Ha 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 ha! I love Halloween too, Cauldron. My favorite part is putting up all the spooky decorations. Hello, spooky decorations! Hello, Henry! Ah, ah, ah! That's wonderful, Henry. And are you all set for some trick-or-treating tonight? I certainly am, Cauldron. I love trick-or-treating. Oh, that reminds me. I have some sweeties here for you. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. It must be great being a cauldron on Halloween. It is, Henry, but instead of being used for sweets just once, I'd love to be a real cauldron and cook up a fantastic magical spell. Well, why don't you give it a try? It is Halloween after all. Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but only a wizard would know how to cook up a fantastic magical spell. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Cauldron. I could become a wizard and we can cook up a magical spell together. That's a wonderful idea, Henry. Okay, Cauldron, if we're going to cook up a spell, first we need to read the spell book. Spell book at your service. Hello, spell book. Cauldron and I are trying to cook up our very first spell today. Can you help us, please? Well, of course I can, Henry. What sort of spell would you like? I've got the floating spell, the invisibility spell, the shrinking spell. Well, I love parties. And I love Halloween. So how about a Halloween party spell? <gasps> what is it, spell book? Oh, the Halloween spell is the most difficult spell of all. It is? Oh, yes, Henry. To cast the spell, you'll have to capture the foul smell of a witch's burp. Collect a sweaty sock from the paws of a werewolf and unscrew a bolt from the neck of Frankenstein's monster. Don't worry, Spellbook. I'm sure we can do it if we work together. Come on, everyone. Let's go! Hello, witch. Would you mind if we collected one of your burps? Of course not, Henry. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Werewolf. Do you have a spare sock we could borrow? Oh, I certainly do, Henry. Hello, Frankenstein's monster. Would you mind if we borrowed a ball from your neck, please? Uh, of course not, Henry. Help yourself, dear boy. Great job, Henry. We collected all the items on the list. We should have that spell mixed up in no time. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks, Cauldron. Let's give it a try. Ready whenever you are, Henry. Okay, Cauldron. Witch's burp and werewolf sauce. Add Frankenstein's monster bolt for a party that rocks. Hmm. Halloween parties aren't quite what they used to be. Are they, Henry? I don't think the spell worked, Cauldron. Spellbook, are you sure that was everything? Oh, let me check. Oh, silly me, I forgot to check the last page. It says we need a wizard's hat. A wizard's hat? Where would we find one of those? Why don't you check on your head, Henry? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks, Cauldron. Let's give it another go. Burp, bolt, sock, and hat. Make a party appear. Just like that. Well done, Henry. You did it. Thanks, Cauldron. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh -huh. Yay! Yeah. Uh -huh. The day Henry met a cauldron. That's my mum calling me, Cauldron. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me cook up my first spell. You're welcome. Happy Halloween. Bye, Henry. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... Broccoli! Broccoli. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Broccoli? 
Can't complain, Henry, can't complain. By the way, can I interest you in any lovely, healthy fruit and veg today? Oh, yes, please, Broccoli. I love fruit and vegetables. I even have an apple tree in my back garden. An apple tree sounds lovely, Henry. Just like these two lovely raisins. Don't eat them all at once. Hello, Henry! Here we have half a pound of strawberries, twice the taste, half the price. Hello, Henry! And last but not least, we have a bunch of grapes. They were so delicious. Someone's already eaten most of them. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. Any of those tickle your fancy then, Henry? <laughs> they look lovely, but... Mm, where's the rest of the fruit and veg? Oh, sorry if the shelves look a little empty, Henry. I'm just waiting for a fresh delivery. Fresh delivery for the green grocer? Anyone seen the green grocer around? Oh, I'm sorry, delivery trolley. The green grocer is out for lunch, but I can take the delivery for you. Thank you kindly. I'll just pop this box down here, shall I? Thanks, delivery trolley. Oh, and I've popped the rest of them around the back, OK. Anyway, moustache, bye-bye. The rest of them? Oh, no, Henry. I'll never be able to sort through all these boxes on my own. If only there was another green grocer around to help. That gives me a great idea, Broccoli. I could become a green grocer and we can sort all the fruit and veg and restock the shelves together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Broccoli, with all this delicious, healthy, fresh fruit and veg everywhere, it's really important we don't drop any, we don't squash any, and we definitely don't squeeze any. Right you are, Henry. OK, Broccoli, let's go! Hello, Juicy Melons. Hello, Henry! Hello, Sack of Potatoes. Hello, Henry! Hello, lovely bunch of coconuts. Hello, Henry! <laughs> you did a great job, Henry. The shelves are full of delicious fruit and veg. Thanks, Broccoli. But we're not finished yet. We should probably do a roll call to make sure we have everything before the shop opens. Good thinking, Henry. OK. First up, bananas. Here. Cabbages. Here. Pineapples. Here. Carrots. Here. Avocados. Here. Tomatoes, pears and grapes. Here. And last but not least, apples. Mm. Apples? Oh, no, Henry. There must have been a mistake with the delivery. There's no apples. What are we going to do? Hmm. Don't worry, Broccoli. I think I have an idea. What are we doing in your back garden, Henry? Remember I said I had an apple tree? Oh, yes, of course. Good thinking, Henry. But the tree's so tall, how are we going to get the apples down? Leave it to me, Broccoli. Excuse me, apple tree, would you mind if we had some of your apples, please? Oh, of course not, Henry. Be my guest. Just have to have a little shimmy shake. Whee! Watch out for those! <laughs> Thanks, apple tree. You're welcome, Henry. Well done, Henry. You did it. You collected the apples and now the shop is fully stocked and ready to go. No problem, Broccoli. All in a day's work for Henry the Greengrocer. The day Henry met Broccoli, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met Broccoli, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Broccoli. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me get the shelves stocked full of lovely fruit and vegetables. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... ...a skateboard. <laughs> Skateboard. Hey, Henry, dude. How are you today, Skateboard? I'm totally stoked, Henry. It's the day of the big extreme sports event, and I just came up with a brand new trick. Would you like to see it? I'd love to, Skateboard. I call this the double loop-de-doo. Here goes. 
Whoa! Wow, that was amazing, skateboard. If you thought that was good, Henry, check out my friends. This is BMX. This is Scooter. This is Rollerblades. Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. That was so cool, skateboard. But it looks a little dangerous to me. Can be, Henry, dude. That's why it's, like, totally important to wear all the right safety gear. If you don't, you could end up like my skateboarder. He had to go home because he fell off and hurt his knee. Oh, no. That's terrible news, skateboard. It gets worse, Henry. I just realized without a skateboarder, I won't be able to enter the big extreme sports event. Oh, if only there was another skateboarder around to help. That gives me a great idea, skateboard. I could become a skateboarder, and we can enter the big extreme sports event together. That's a totally bodacious idea, Henry, dude. Okay, skateboard. First things first. I need to check all my safety gear. Knee pads, elbow pads, and helmet. Check, check, and check. Good work, Henry. Are you ready? Ready, skateboard? Let's go! <laughs> Hello, half pipe. Hello, Henry. Hello, rails. Hello, Henry. Hello, loop the loop. Hello, Henry. That was totally awesome skateboarding, Henry, dude. All you have to do is nail this last obstacle, and you've completed the course. No problem, skateboard. What's the final obstacle? It's the super-duper gravity-defined jump of doom. Hello, Henry. Hello, super-duper gravity-defined jump of doom. It's going to be totally bodacious, Henry, dude. First, we have to speed down the super steep ramp. Then we have to jump over two buses, a jumbo jet, and a bouncy castle full of lions and tigers. Oh, on second thoughts, Henry, dude, I don't think this is such a good idea after all. But we've come so far, skateboard. It would be a shame to give up now. And don't forget, I'll be with you the whole way. You're right, Henry. And I'd love to show my friends I can totally do this. Come on, skateboard! You can do it! That's the spirit, skateboard. Ready? Steady? Go! Jumps just up ahead, Henry. Hold on tight. Will do, skateboard. Will do. Wahoo! Hello, buses. Hello, Henry. Hello, jumbo jets. Oh, hello, Henry. Hello, lions and tigers on a bouncy castle. Oh, hello, Henry. Oh, no, Henry, dude. We're never going to make it. It's totally too far. Don't worry, skateboard. We still have one more trick up our sleeves. Remember? The double loop de doo Great idea, Henry, dude. Wahoo! Yeah! We did it, Henry. We completed the big extreme sports event and totally nailed the double loop de doo We did, skateboard. But the best thing was that I made some totally awesome friends. Today Henry met a skateboard. He laughed along with everyone. Today Henry met a skateboard. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me skateboard. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me take part in the big extreme sports event. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met... A tennis racket. <laughs> Hello, tennis racket. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Tennis Rocket? I feel great, Henry. Just practicing my forehand, you know. Jolly important to warm up those strings before a big championship tennis match. Oh, I love sports, but I've never actually played tennis before. How do you play? It's easy, Henry, old boy. 
You just have to hit the tennis ball back and forth over the net, but if you miss or the ball bounces more than once, the other player gets a point. And what are these white lines for? That's the tennis court, Henry. You have to try and keep the ball inside the court at all times if you want to win. Wow! Tennis sounds like so much fun, but I best be off. I'm sure you have to prepare for the big championship match. Well, you see, I've not played in a big championship match in a long, long time, Henry. Why is that? Most tennis players don't want to use an old wooden racket like me. And without a tennis player, I can't play a match. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Tennis Racket. I could become a tennis player and we could play in a championship tennis match together. That's a great idea, Henry. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I'm sure you're doing great. I know I am. Anyways, good luck to you. I made a best racket win. Aw, he was nice, wasn't he, Tennis Racket? Oh, Henry, dear boy, did you see that carbon fibre frame, those reinforced strings? An old wooden tennis racket like me will never beat a spiffing new tennis racket like that. Don't worry, tennis racket. We just have to remember to try our best and have fun. Here we go! Yeah! Yeah! Fifteen love to new tennis racket. New tennis record winning 15, love. You cannot be serious! Oh no, tennis racket. Looks like this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Yeah! All right! This isn't going very well, Henry. Phew. I know what you mean, Tennis Racket. We haven't won a single point yet. Are you guys OK over there? Of course you are. I know I am. I can't wait to see you both back on the court. Oh, and don't forget, never give up. He's right, Tennis Racket. We have to be more positive. Just listen to that crowd. Come on, Henry. You can do it. You're right, Henry. With the crowd on our side, there's no way we can lose. Ready, Henry? Ready, new tennis racket? Then let's go. Yeah. Steady, Henry. Now. Yeah. Fifteen love to Team Henry. Team Henry winning 15 love. At last, Henry, our first point. Looks like we might just have a chance after all. Yeah. Match point, Team Henry. Team Henry, match point. This is it, Henry, my boy. It's match point, which means we only need one more point to win the championship. OK. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah! 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 Whoa! Woohoo! We did it, Henry! We did, Tennis Racket. But you can't have a great match without a great opponent. Come on up, new tennis racket. You deserve this trophy just as much as us. Oh, wow. Thanks for sharing the trophy with me, you guys. You're welcome, new tennis racket. Hooray! The day Henry met a tennis racket. She laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a tennis racket. She made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me Tennis Racket. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me win the championship match. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A telescope. Telescope. Greetings, Henry, my dear boy. How are you this evening, Telescope? I'm wonderful, thanks, Henry. It's a positively splendid night for a spot of stargazing, don't you think? Just look at that spectacular, clear, starry sky. Wow, it's beautiful, Telescope. There must be a bazillion stars. Uh, more like one billion trillion, Henry. One billion 
trillion? That's quite a lot, Telescope. How on earth do you keep track of them all? Excellent question, Henry, my boy. We look for stars that are grouped together. We call these groups constellations. Then we give them names so we don't forget them. Here, take a look. Over here, we have Orion, the hunter. Hello, Henry. This is Ursa Major, the great bear. Brr. Hello, Henry. And this is Taurus the Bull. Hola, Henry. Hello, everyone. Wow, that's so interesting, Telescope. Who comes up with the different names? Whoever discovers the constellation, Henry, they get the honour of naming it. Have you ever discovered a constellation, Telescope? I wish I had, Henry. I've been out here night after night for years, but had no luck at all. Oh, if only there was an astronomer around to help. What's an astronomer, Telescope? An astronomer is someone who studies stars, planets, moons and other celestial objects. That gives me a great idea, Telescope. I could become an astronomer and we can find a constellation together. That's a marvellous idea, Henry. OK, Telescope, let's see what we can find. Hello, Moon. Oh, hello, Henry. It's lovely to see you again. You too, Moon. I wonder if you can help me. I'm just looking for a new star constellation. Have you seen one? I've seen a satellite, a space station, and even some meteors. But I haven't seen any new constellations, I'm afraid. Oh, not to worry. Thanks, Moon. Never mind, Henry. The night is still young, and there's plenty more stars in the sky. You're right, Telescope. Let's keep looking. Hello, Henry. Hello, Comet. Hello, Henry. Hello, UFO. Hello, Henry. It's no use, Henry. We've been searching the sky all evening and we haven't found a new constellation anywhere. Maybe we should call it a night. Don't give up just yet, Telescope. We still have one last spot to check. What's that telescope? Is it a planet? Is it a meteor? Is it a strange alien life form from the planet Blippity Blop? Ah, no, unfortunately not. It's just a smudge on the lens, Henry. It must have got dirty after all this stargazing. Don't worry, telescope. I'll go and give it a quick clean for you. Thanks, Henry, but be careful. My lens is very delicate. There. All done. Oh, Henry, quick, look. You're not going to believe what we've just found. Wow, that's amazing, Telescope. It's a brand new constellation, Henry. And it looks just like me. <laughs> In that case, I now declare this the Henry Super Amazing Constellation. The day Henry met a telescope, he laughed a lot. The day Henry met a telescope, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me telescope. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find a brand new constellation. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a tow truck. <laughs> Hello, tow truck. Howdy, Henry. How are you today, tow truck? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love being a tow truck and using my winch to pull stuff around. If I see someone broken down or stuck in the mud, I just have to tow them to safety. Well, you look like you've been very busy, tow truck. There are piles of old cars everywhere. Hello, Henry. I know, Henry. The Monster Truck Derby started last night and they've been racing around crushing cars faster than I can tow them away. Ready or not, here I come. 
Phew, that was a close one. <laughs> oh. I love my job, Henry, but you know, one day I wish I could be a monster truck having fun racing around, crushing cars, and driving through the mud instead of always being the tow truck cleaning up the mess. I think you'd make a brilliant monster truck. You do? Well, thank you kindly, Henry, but oh, look at me. My old engine is tired as a mm. mule. My paintwork is rustier than a box of nails, and shucks, I've seen bigger wheels on a little kitty's tricycle. I'd never make a good monster truck looking like this if only there was a mechanic around to help. That gives me a great idea, tow truck. I could become a mechanic, and I can fix you up. Ready for the Monster Truck Derby. Well, gee whiz, that's a great idea, Henry. Okay, tow truck. First things first. We need to raise you up so we can change your tires. Oh, leave it to me, Henry. Big or small, I can lift anything at all. <sighs> Thanks, Jack. You're up next, Electric Wrench. Okay, Henry. Thanks, everyone. You're doing a great job. We're not finished yet, tow truck. Come on, everyone. Let's get to work. Hello, Super Chunky Tires. Hello, Henry. Hello, Turbocharged Engine. Uh, hello, Henry. Hello, Spray Paint Cans. Hello, Henry. Yay! Well, Henry, I look like a real-life, genuine monster truck. Thanks ever so much. You're welcome, tow truck. Now let's get racing. Ready? Good luck, tow truck. Steady. May the best monster truck win. Go, go, go! <laughs> Woo How am I doing, Henry? You're doing great, tow truck, but be careful. There's a big jump up ahead. Yeehaw! Great job, tow truck. Next up is the mud bath. Okay, Henry, here I go. Whew, that was hard work, Henry. I'm not sure if I can keep up this pace much longer. You're almost there, tow truck. It's the final straight. And look, monster truck is stuck in the mud. You can't lose. <sighs> Did you say monster truck was stuck in the mud? Help, help. Oh no, Henry. What are we gonna do? I wish I still had my winch. That way I could pull him to safety. Hmm. Hold on, tow truck. I think I have an idea. There you go, tow truck. What do you think? That's perfect, Henry. Don't worry, monster truck. We'll have you at no time. Thanks, tow truck. Well done, tow truck. You won the race. Thanks, Henry. I did love winning the race and being a monster truck and all, but, you know, I think I love being a tow truck and helping people even more. Oh, and Henry, do you think I can keep the new paint job? Of course you can, tow truck. You look totally brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the day Henry met a tow truck, he laughed along with everyone. That's my mum calling me, Tow Truck. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me take part in the Monster Truck Derby. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone. Hello, Dinosaur Bone. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Dinosaur Bone? I'm great, thank you, Henry. I just love living in the museum amongst all these amazing fossils. Hello, Henry. Hello, fossils. Dinosaur Bone, what exactly is a fossil? Well, Henry, fossils are made when living things die and are trapped within rock for millions of years, like these fossil skeletons here. Hello, fossil skeletons. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. But how did the fossils get into the museum? There are special scientists called paleontologists, Henry, whose job is to find fossils, dig them up, and bring them to the museum so we can learn all 
about them, just like this really fragile, one-of-a-kind dinosaur <laughs> egg. Oh, no, dinosaur bone. What are we going to do, Henry? If only there was a paleontologist around who could travel back in time to help find another dinosaur egg. That gives me a great idea, Dinosaur Bone. I could become a paleontologist and we could travel back in time and find another dinosaur egg together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, first things first. If we want to find a dinosaur egg, we're going to have to find a dinosaur. Good idea, Henry, but where are we going to find a dinosaur? Don't worry, Henry. It's just a brontosaurus. They're herbivores. What's a herbivore? It means I only eat plants and vegetables, Henry. Om, nom, nom. I was just wondering, have you seen any dinosaur eggs lying around? I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. <laughs> but I have an idea that might help. Wow, thanks, Brontosaurus. We have a great view from up here. But this place is so big, it's going to take us all day to find that dinosaur egg. Well, we'd better get started then. Let's go! Good luck, Henry! Thanks, Brontosaurus! Hello, Triceratops. Have you seen any dinosaur eggs today? No, I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I've been too busy collecting fruit. Fruit salad, everyone! Hut, hut, Hello, Pterodactyl. Any chance you've seen some dinosaur eggs around? Yeah. I'm sorry I haven't, Henry. I've been too busy getting the kids ready for their flying lessons. Wait for me! Hello, Ankylosaurus. Have you seen any dinosaur eggs around? I haven't, sorry, Henry. I've been too busy practicing my swing. Four. We've looked all over, Henry, and we still haven't found a dinosaur egg. Don't worry, Dinosaur Bone. Let's have a little sit down on these rocks and come up with a new plan. Henry, that's not a rock. It's a dinosaur egg. We did it, Dinosaur Bone. And considering we're 65 million years in the past, I think things have gone pretty smoothly. Oh no, Henry, it's a dead end. Now we're in trouble. Please don't eat us, giant scary dinosaur. Mama. There you are, my scaly bundle of joy. Are you okay? I've been worried sick. T Rex wasn't trying to eat us at all, Henry. She just wanted her baby back. Sorry, T Rex. You should never touch any unhatched eggs, okay? Okay, T Rex. I pinky promise. And besides, I think I've had enough adventure for one day. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone, he made lots of friends and we had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me dinosaur bone. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find a new dinosaur egg. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. <laughs>